Hello, my friends. Happy Savings Day. Um, oh, boy. Okay, so I had to make myself notes because <laughs> I got a lot. You know what? This was <laughs> this was my note from last week. And um, I had recorded a video uh, shortly after my eye surgery. And then I went back to edit it and post it. And Okay, I had actually done a lot of really fun stuff in the video. However, there is zero sound. Um, my phone has got a mind of its own. I think it's been, you know how your phone can kind of Bluetooth into your, to your vehicle? I think my phone has picked up a few tips from Babs because now it is demanding to be serviced. And I'm not happy about it. But there is a Babs update. Um, she has a new mechanic. Um, he is well aware of her infatuation. Um, he is also married, so I'm assuming they had that talk about how nothing can come of this. But, but I don't know. She seems to be working just fine today after her new spark plugs. And um, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see how it goes. Oh, so as for my eye surgery, real quick before we get into the games, um, as you may have remembered, this is how my eyelids looked, okay? I was very hooded. My eyebrows were very low. My eyebrows had fallen off of the brow bone. So they wound up taking off um, six millimeters of excess skin on the lids, and then they raised up my brows. So currently, well, before, I was like this. Well, now... Let me see if I can, hold on, this is really, really ridiculous. But now, <laughs> it looked like this. Be well, it's more like this. <laughs> because they said that when the swelling goes down and as it starts to heal, they will slowly come down. And I said, well, what about the giant sickles that are on top of my eyebrows? And um, those are just the stitches that are up there. My brow is actually underneath. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Whew. But yeah, so I have stitches in my eyebrows. I've got um, stitches and tape in my eyelids. The bottoms, okay, basically the bottoms look like this now because I have all of the swelling and bruising. Um, my entire face up here is yellow with dark red patches here, dark red up here. It's a mess. So my friend and I, we are going to this big motorcycle conference this weekend. And we've decided that um, instead of saying that we are in a bar fight, we're going to say that we were we were fighting each other over who gets which bed because we're sharing a room. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try and have a little fun with that. So last week, or gosh, I think it was last week, I did a thing. I emptied out the tree. So there's nothing on the tree right now. I did keep the cards in the base of the tree because I didn't want, I had $1,300 on that tree and I didn't want to just leave that sitting around my house. So um, I also got a bill in the mail because my computer had broken and apparently Pentium is not a good processor because <laughs> it's a few years old. And so I had to get a new computer that was almost six hundred dollars, so I was able to pay off that um that because I did credit because I didn't have the cash on me, so I did the six hundred dollar credit to buy the computer, so I paid that off, and then the rest of it went to Frida's account, so I'm getting very close to paying that off. I'm very excited. um I also introduced some binders to you, and um I think the okay, so the previous video. To this one that you would have seen I may have spoken ill of my neighbor um, we talked about the tree and how difficult it is to get down and I tried to get him in trouble at work because he left a, a ticket on my door for excessive holiday decorations well his office was in on the gag and they all laughed about it because they're it's the code enforcement office well for Christmas it was a late Christmas gift because they had to reship a new one but um, I have to formally apologize to my neighbors. They can do no wrong because I got this for Christmas. <laughs> I love, 
I love this mug. Love this mug. I use it every day. I had to swap it out for that one today and wash it so that, you know, when you saw it, it didn't look like, you know, bad things had been happening to it. But, yeah, so I even keep this on my kitchen window. Um, kind of like a badge of honor, especially for when my other neighbor, Jen, walks by. Because we we have this little neighborhood war. One year, for, <laughs> one year for the camping season, she got me a present. And it's a towel, a little kitchen towel for the camper that says, Like a good neighbor, stay over there. Because that's kind of our little joke theme. All right, so we let's get into some uh, some stuff here. Um, tree wiped out. Let's play some games. And then I have some really cool things to show you. Um, thanks to my new friend, Trina, and her daughter. So let's play some games first. And then, you know, if you've already fast forwarded through all this, get ready to stop for us forwarding. Okay, and then at the very end... I really want you to check and see what, what Trina and I came up with because it's really honestly cool. All right, so this is how much money I've got for game day. Plus, I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, $27 left over from my wallet that we will be adding in here. Come on, fingers. Okay, so we have for game day 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 113 dollars. That's kind of exciting. I didn't think it'd be anywhere near that. Okay. We have, oh, and we also have some sinking fund money to put away. Um, let's do the new marble binder. This was a gift from Dina, and um, I love that thing. So, let's see, what do we want to do? Well, I guess... I guess we just start, we'll do one of everything and see how far we get. How's that sound? Okay, so this is the Winter Savings Challenge. I'm going to be saving up a total of 200 and I got this from Boy Mom Loves to Save. I'm going to put a link um, in the description box so that you can go and check out her Etsy shop and her YouTube channel. Let's see. Oh, six buckaroos. And I still don't know where my vacuum is. That's what happens. I charge the damn thing, and then I forget where I put it. Hold on. Ugh, it's not under here. Hold on a second. Okay, found it. Oops, sorry. I think my camera just got nervous. All right. Six dollars, so five and six. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 112 dollars into these adorable guys. I just, I just love these things. I was so excited when I got them last year. And now I finally get to scratch them off again. Alright, let's play. She thinks the mechanic's sexy. I got this in honor of Babs. So what we are going to do is we are going to roll the first dice. And ah, there's only one thing wrong with her this time. And you know what? There was actually six because she needed all new spark plugs. And four. So four times one is only four. So it actually cost me $150, but <laughs> you know. Who's complaining? It's better than the 600 and some I'm used to spending on her. All right, so, so far, she's got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. All right, what do we have next? We have Plinko. Okay, so Plinko... 
Let me see how many. So what I've decided to do is, because I've only got five dice, I'm going to put that back and then I am going to roll all five dice and if I get evens, I get to play a card. If it's an odd, I don't get to play it. All right, I only got two evens. So we get to play two times. Okay, where's my game board? And you know what? I was supposed to look this up because I don't know if I'm playing it right. I don't think I'm playing it right. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be um, just doing that number, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. We got a three. So that's three bucks. Two, three. And then we got a six, and a six is worth three bucks. So I owe six dollars to Plinko. And next time, unless you've already played this and you know exactly what I'm supposed to do and how bad I screwed it up, um, I will double check the rules next time. So I'm really sorry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars in Plinko. Let's put our chips back in. All right, next we've got pocket change. And we're going to roll the dice, see which one I scratch off. It's a five. So let's scratch off a five. All right, he's got $9 in his pocket that I'm going to be stealing. Sorry, I've got lotion on my hands, and then mixed with that stuff, it's just caused quite a mess. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know what? I should just take one of the dollars out of there, because there's only one in there, and I'll just put a 10 in. All right, so we've got 10 bucks in pocket change. Ooh, Plinko. Plinko is done by saving with Shalanda. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, all right, Lighthouse is from Lindsay from Boy Mom Loves to Save. Okay, let's see what we can do on this one. Okay, $12. And 11, 12. So we have 110, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, $133 in the lighthouse. All right, let's talk about love. I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. All right, we got nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I made that one. You can find that in my Etsy shop. It's one of my newer ones. Uh, Moolah. This one is from Dina, or Budgeting by Dina, U.S., Come on, there we go. And we will do down here. Okay, so that one is a seven. If you can see it in the little milk jug. I have six, seven. So now we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars. Oh, you know what? Before I go too much farther, I need to do... My birthday is coming up. Did I have it in this one? No, but ooh, I gotta do that one too. We should probably do that before we do anything else. Okay, so let's do my birthday card. I got this one as a, a free gift from Gentle Charm Budgets when I bought the, um, the Peacock and... The dart game. We're going to be playing that dart game coming up here 
um, when soon, not not like super right now, but soon. And sorry if you hear a bunch of weird noise. We are getting some snow. They were threatening a blizzard. We definitely are not getting a blizzard. Uh, five. Okay, 20 bucks into happy birthday. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars. Okay, so if you see this and you think, ooh, that's neat, it's a photo album, what a great way to use for savings challenges. Don't. It is not a good idea. It, it's frustrating because as I'm putting this together, I'm finding more and more things to put in here. And you can't just take the page out and flip it to a different page. You have to dig everything out, dig all of them out, put them all back in, and then put the one in, and then remember, crap, I didn't want to do that one. Take that one out, put them all back in its original places. You know, I love that it's top load. I really love the top load, but giant pain in my ass. But where it is working out well is for this. So this is called my Judgy Ginger, because every time I go shopping and I bring home the bags, George is got his nose all up in it wondering what I got for him and when I don't get something for him he's he's not a happy boy so I bought this from Savvy Budget Babe and we're gonna do a 52 week challenge we're gonna see how fast we can actually do it that that's a lie I'm we're going to be cautious about it because I want to do other I wanted to be able to do other things with my money but to make it more of a challenge, I made up these little tiny motorcycle cards with, there's 52 of them and they're all numbered. So we are just going to randomly pick a card and pray that it's not 52 because I don't have, I don't have $52 available right now. All right, let's put those ones down and let's see what we get. Drum roll please. Good doggies. It's a two. Okay. All right. So let's get our two dollars out. And then we flip over to the number two side. So this photo album is actually quite perfect if you want to do the 52 week challenge. And what I did was I bought the album. There's 26 sleeves. I have these little card things, these little sturdy cards that I will put into some of the items that I'm sending off to folks just to make sure that it gives it a little extra strength so that the products don't get bent or squished or anything like that. It just gives it a little more stability. So we'll put that too over here along with the motorcycle card because I just honestly don't know what to do with the scratched off ones right now. Um, and then we get to color this little dog in. Thank goodness I've got this right here. So we'll just use this. And then the next time um, that I have a video, I am going to put some more money into this because uh, I'm behind. But um, just not right now. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Let's do a dragon. And now we're going to play some dice games. It's a five. We can do that. Okay, it was the first one, so five goes in. All right, um, high roller. I don't know why I just took that out. High roller is a poker game. Let me get the board. Okay, so here are all of the different hands. So one pair. So you have to roll all five dice and then I get to keep whatever I want and roll whatever I have left. Um, and then I just, and then it just depends on what happens. One pair is a dollar, two pairs, two dollars, three of a kind is three dollars, small straight, five, large straight, 10, full house, 15. Four of a kind, 20, and five of a kind, 25. 
So, let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I've got three ones, a five and a four, so let's just hope we can get a full house out of this. Four of a kind, 20 bucks. All right, I am not complaining about that. So we've got one, 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 and three. And three of a, four of a kind is $20. And we've got five, 10, 15, 20. And that's our first hand of high roller. So that's all we got in there is 20 bucks. Bowling. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the bowling. Um, I don't know how much money we're going to have left. Hi, George. Did you hear me talking bad about you? Oh, come here. Come here, fuzzy face. Okay, are you ready? Big bucks, no whammies. Up, oh, and there he goes. Okay. So we got seven. Shoot, seven. Six. Twelve. You donkeys. All right. So what do we got? We got 18 plus four plus one, 23 bucks. And we don't have 23 bucks. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we owe it $10. And um, yeah, but I'll have to pay that next time because oops. But I do like the bowling because it does help me save a higher amount of money than the other um, versions of this. And that's what I need. I need to save money. Alright, this is all I have for scrap paper right now. So I owe you $10. We will put this in. You know what? We're going to clip it to this so that I know when I first start out that I owe it. Okay, that's it for the games because that's it for the money. Ugh. George is now chewing up my cord. Oh, I have to stuff my sinking funds. So let's do that real quick. And we have... Where's my junk? We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 dollars. So this money stays in my bank. We are going to the O for 15 dollars. Registration fifteen dollars. Let's see how much we got in next. We might have to go ahead and do that again because that is due this month. And I have to double check to make sure I've got the right amount planned for to save up for it. So I've got one fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two hundred, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. So we have 228. I'll do that. I'll update the register later. All right, for taxes, let's go ahead and do 30 bucks into the taxes. How much do we have in there right now? No, let's do more than that cuz I doubt we need very much of it, but let's just be on the safe side, right? 
All right, so in taxes we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82 dollars. And then let's throw the rest of it into business because um, I kind of did do a little bit of business shopping today. I had to get more paper. No, you know, it was for different. So, no, we're not cutting, taking it out of this. So, 20 30 31 32 33 34 dollars into our business funds, which I had just done some shopping, so that's why that was currently at zero. Okay, now... Now that that's done, I get to show you what I did. Um, so I have a new friend named Trina. And Trina um, has a, a daughter who's a veteran. And whenever I hear a mom talk about, or even a dad, talk about how their child is in the service, I, I tell them, thank you. And it's not, and I don't make it sound morbid as in, you know, thank you for sacrificing your child to the military, because that's not what it is. It's, um, thank you for raising a strong and independent child who feels that calling for service. Um, that, that's all it is. Um, they, she has raised a very strong and independent woman. Um, who has served, I believe she said 23 years in the army. And so she had asked me because I've got this, um, military Opoly game and there was a personalization request on there. So she had reached out and asked me what was the personalization about? Now to start off with, it was only to get the email address so that the VA, when I turn in your money, cause this is, you get Whatever money I receive from this, after all of the fees and everything, that money goes over to my local VA pantry. And then I give them the list of donors, and then they send out the emails to say thank you. Um, so that's all the personalization was, was to get um, an address, an email address. Well, thanks to Trina, I decided, you know what might be fun, is if you send me some pictures of your daughter and we customized the military Opoly game. So that's what we did. I, we wound up, I think I sent her like five different options. And I think these are the two that I'm going to go with for going forward. So customizing these boards is free. This is a digital download. So when you purchase it, um, in the personalization or in the description, it's going to tell you um, to send the buyer um, a message. And once we start communicating on Etsy about, you know, what you're looking for, I'm going to give you the email address, the business email address, and you're going to send me one or two um, pictures. And then I will crop them, image them, try and clean them up because some of them come out very dark. Now, I can work with this. I can lighten up the image. So don't be afraid if you don't feel like you have a good image copy. But... Um, we can play with it and come up with a design that you like the best. There's going to be this option where it's a full large picture along with a military symbol. And then there's also a twofer. So if you've got two kids um, or you've got one kid and um, you just want two different images, you can do that. Um, if you have more kids, we're going to have to discuss it. So shoot me that shoot me a message um, either before or after you purchase it, and we will have a discussion on the best way to to suit your needs. And if we can't figure it out, then then you get a you know we'll figure it out because when you do purchase it, you do get the board. Um, you get the basic board for free. That's a digital download that's sent right to you once it's purchased. So if you've got questions about design. You might want to hit me up in the messages prior to purchasing this, okay? Um, but yeah, so this is what we did. We came up with a design. We came up with a bunch of designs. And um, she and she and her daughter and her granddaughter, they're having a good time looking at those. So because I was so excited about how these turned out, and I was so excited about Trina, and she had, you know, sent me an email 
and asking me how I was feeling after the surgery. And, and she just, you know, it was just so kind. It was really nice. And, you know, we got each other teared up a, a couple of times through messages. So, um, I do not, I, I, these do not contain, um, Trina's daughter's pictures because I think that would be disrespectful for me to start showing off her daughter without permission from both her and her daughter. So these are some scratch off cards that I came up with that are customizable. And these are going to be going up in my Etsy shop. I sent these off as a free gift to Trina. Um, and then I was like, you know what? These could, these might actually be kind of special. So it could be a veteran. It could be, you know, there's so many different designs that we're going to be putting up there. Each card is going to be $5 because it does take me some time to crop and center and get the images just right. Um, you get to choose which layout you like. And then we will also have a discussion of, do you want the scratch off stickers off to the side where it's not covering your loved one's face? Do you want them everywhere on the board? Uh, so that's one of, that's why there's no numbers on here right now. It's because we need to come up with a plan. This is totally customizable. So I really like this one. I think this one is really neat. Uh, this is going to be, so we're going to call this one the green background. And it's going to be $55 in savings. The scratch off stickers are going to be 1 through 10. This one we're going to call it the white background. And at the bottom it says, This nation will remain the land of the free only so long as it is home of the brave. This is the gray background. Same saying at the bottom. And then this is what it would look like if the numbers were off on the side and not covering the picture of your loved one. And then this is going to be the blue background. And you can have um, a current relative. It can be um, a past family member. Um, it can be a Boy Scout. It can be anybody that you want in these frames. And you just turn your family members into savings challenges. That way, when they tick you off next time because they didn't put their socks in the hamper, you can say, you are so lucky you're saving me money. That way, there's just no violence. Okay, that is going to be up in the Etsy shop. So it's going to be in the Etsy shop very soon, hopefully by the time that you see this video. But there's more. So, my friend Kristen, I'm so excited about this. She finally decided that she was ready. She wants to know all about the savings challenge stuff. So she came over and we made a bunch of cards for her. And now I just need to figure out how to put this on Etsy so that you and I can sit down and we can come up with something customized just for you that nobody else will have, just you. So she loves butterflies and blue. Blue is her favorite color. So she wants to save up for a new car. So we made a couple of these designs. Oh, I forgot I put a bunch of them in this. So there's this one, this one, this one, oh, this one. And then I thought that would be really cute to have a little fairy driving the blue car. And then she's also saving up for a house. So we just kind of went crazy and I said, you know, whatever house design, let's make some goofy moves and let's see what we can come up with. And so we just did a bunch of, she wants to take an old hunter shack and leave it kind of crazy on the outside, but have it really modern on the inside. And I think that would be so cool. That would just be so awesome. It's kind of like how I had wanted to do a, um, more houses. Uh, I wanted to get a factory and make that my home. That way, when you had the doors that would raise up the great big semi doors, you walk in or you drive in basically into the living room, but it's plexiglassed off so you can see in and out, but it's, you know, separated so you don't get poisoned by the gases. But so this friend of mine is also um, a very good shot. So I did up a couple more in Canva with, with a blonde sitting on her porch with a rifle. So there's so many things that can be done. So many different options. So if there is something that you think will help you really want to get in there and save some money, because sometimes that's all it takes is the love of a game 
or the love of a card to make you not want to buy that silly snowman sitting on the shelf even though it's 50% off because you know you can take that $4, run home, and hopefully scratch off a $4 sticker and save that money because you want to reveal the image behind it. So that is another custom binder. Uh, she's going to be coming over probably tomorrow to pick that up. Um, I think that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Trina, again, thank you so much for giving me that inspiration. And um, I really love how these turned out. And I'm really hoping that others can see the value in these as well. And I have another idea for custom photos too, but that's going to take a lot of a lot of work. So give me a minute to figure that one out, and um, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm out of here, Happy Savers. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.